you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kayla lachey where i talk all things beauty lifestyle and fashion and i really wanted to get cute today what is this i'm also leaving the house tonight for dinner so i'm really excited to catch up with a friend and i just wanted to get myself feeling like a baddie again because i don't know what's going on i kind of lost myself and i've been really focused in the gym don't really go anywhere so don't really see the point in getting cute so i just wear sweats all the time or i'm lounging in my skims so i thought it would be really fun and motivating for me personally to get ready with you guys i'm talking makeup i'm talking hair because what's underneath this bonnet we don't know and pick out an outfit together and a fragrance of course so if you guys are interested definitely stay tuned thumbs up for videos like this if you guys enjoy them like i do and of course don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking below so you guys never miss out on my uploads so i think i'm gonna start with my hair so that it can do what it needs to do while we get into the makeup. So this is just kind of how I slept last night. And I have my hair in like a low bun and I put a little scarf on it. And I have a couple of like satin scrunchies in here. Kind of just like twisted it up. Oh wow, my hair actually did what I wanted it to do. Instead of using this, which I showed you guys my initial review in my curly to straight hair video. So if you guys want to see how I transform my hair, go watch that. I'll pop it up in the cards for you guys. So I actually like my hair right now. I think I'm just going to twist it back into a bun so it's not in my face. Right? Do I like this? I have on a black shirt, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I think it looks good. So, never mind. <laughs> you never know when you wake up in the morning, though, what your hair is going to look like. But I'll add some product in it once my makeup is done and we can, like, style it. But I want to show you guys my makeup because I got one girl asking, can you please do a makeup tutorial? And every time I show me doing my makeup, I speed it up and put music over it. And she's like, girl, we need you to talk through it. And I was like, really? People care about that? Because I do my makeup the same. I maybe use a few different products, but it's very minimal. And honestly, I can get this done in like 15 minutes, maybe 10 if I'm not filming, of course. So it is super efficient and it works you know for everyday vibes so i'm gonna go clean this up and we'll get into the makeup i'm not like a beauty guru anymore so my makeup collection tremendously has downsized from my ikea alex nine drawer days and yes all of my brushes are also in here so i will link you guys to the products in the description box below so you guys can check these out and see if you want to get them some things aren't available like i know this palette which i love was like holiday edition so any like nars blush go get that it's the same this is my face primer it is the best face primer ever and i've repurchased it so many times doesn't break me out and i have sensitive acne prone skin i like it because it's a skincare brand and there's no like silicones and oils that clog your pores like most makeup primers wow throwing it back to my beauty guru days i use this to clean up my eyebrows foundation this stuff is really good it's definitely not my color right now i need to go a shade lighter so i can kind of mix the two but it's just you know it's yeah i just needed it so don't come for me for the shade but this has been my go-to foundation for over a year i feel like since it's come out and it's like super light coverage okay basically we just evened out the face so this is when i would go in girl is no match 
Don't come for my foundation color. We know it doesn't match. I'm gonna highlight under the eye because my face is all one color. So we gotta brighten things up a little bit. Make sure that people don't know that we didn't really sleep that good last night. You know what I'm saying? I really need to go to Ulta to get a different foundation, but when I put my bronzer on, hopefully it'll help. <laughs> I guess. And then I'm just gonna conceal a little extra on my problem areas. Blend that in. My lips look juicy. I got a new lip mask at night. Amazing. Link that below. Cause the thing works. So I used to contour everything. I do the 3B method. If you guys are hip to it, then you know what I'm talking about. But now I just use this. I need to get a lighter shade. I just really need to update my makeup bag. That's what we need to do. Stay tuned for another vlog, but I just contour my nose. This one's a little too dark. This is what I like for summer. But it's winter here and I'm going outside, so. Use one of these, blend that in. And I bring it into my eye because I don't use eyeshadow. So this gives me some definition in my little crease area. Blend that side. It's gonna look crazy before it looks better. I love blush and I love doing a lot, a lot, a lot of blush. I feel like it just makes you look glowy and youthful and like that clean girl aesthetic that we all love and that I'm cold look. So I love to use a liquid blush. This is such a good formula. I need to get it in more colors, but they're always sold out. So this one is in... Well, I'll link below, but I think it's a great color for everybody. Okay, like I said, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. And I'm just gonna set, and I've been using this Huda Beauty Powder for forever. I love this so much more low-key than the um, Laura Mercier Translucent. They have more colors with the Huda Beauty. So Banana Bread is what I find works perfect for me and it lasts for forever so i think this is only like the second one i've ever had and it literally lasted me a whole year one of these so go get some of this it also smells really good so i just put it in the cap there's definitely a hair on my face i can feel it and one of these little brushes and i just start setting my under eyes first so they don't crease as bad and I use this to set my whole face I need to know if any of you guys like any other Huda Beauty products because I've only tried this and like their liquid lipsticks but I'd be interested to try other things so put me on to your favorites then I'll use this puff for larger areas like my cheeks and as you can tell, I love this. Just a powder. And I don't really want to get it in my hair, but I'll just kind of press it along the hairline. And then a little bit down my nose where we did the contouring and a little bit in my eye. Just a little bit. I used to do cream, like I said, and then go over it with the powder and that was just doing too much. I said we need to stop doing that, so. I just use powder now so i love nars blushes so much i think they're all so beautiful just get whatever color you like but when i saw they came out with this during the holiday i said throw it in the bag so i basically have been mixing these two in the middle together i think they're all so pretty i haven't actually used these two on the ends but if you have deeper skin tone oh, stunning and i have a heavy hand so 
do whatever you like and then i just kind of bring it up like i said into the temple and then i also like to put it under my nose here for the i'm cold look i just something about it when you add the highlight with it it just looks so good fresh faced not so stark like the buckle fat removal that scares me i can't believe that's even a trend right now that literally i can't i've been using the same highlighter for a long time and as you can tell hit pan on it if it's not broke don't fix it i don't really hoard beauty products anymore like i used to because i don't need 20 highlights that look pretty much identical no one is really gonna know on my face like are you wearing that specific becca highlight like no <laughs> they all look the same so i just pop this in my inner corner to kind of widen and awaken my eyes a little like i said i didn't really sleep that good last night so i'll add a little bit under the brow again i go od on it <sighs> do what you do but this is what i like so i'm gonna add it down my nose and then And I'll add like a little bit above my brows and on my chin just just for a glow and then I just want to brighten my under eyes a little bit more so I love my little pressed powder what color did I get this in number two love this but there's not a lot of shades but it's really good for brightening so I like to kind of use it as like the topping to finish off my face under the eye Oh my god, I just hit the pan. This is a very soft, velvety powder, so it's definitely prone to cracking. You have to be careful with it, but I would highly recommend it. I'm definitely going to repurchase it because it's so good. And then I'll bring it along my nose just to kind of emphasize the contour. Like, the nose is snatched, okay? You see how it was looking crazy before, but it's, it's looking a little better now. Just a little curl on my eyelash and out brown eyeliner y'all this is all you need for a little definition and it makes your lashes kind of um look thicker so i just do a little bit on the outer um the outer corners Like for the upper. Isn't it weird how we put eyeliners so close to our eyeballs? I'm like, is that safe? I'm gonna just set my face, which is crucial to just making everything melt together. And now that the sun is coming out, y'all see it's just very simple it doesn't look overly contoured or anything other than overly blushed and highlighted but that's my vibe my your business now i don't want to get my hair wet okay my face is usually soaking wet but it's fine it just dries so nicely i'm gonna use this pencil it's like a dark brown excuse me i love these lip pencils And I'm just going to outline my lips. Oh, my foundation doesn't match. Fill in the corners. Okay. And then I'm going to just use whatever's left over from the concealer from my brows and straighten out the, like clean up the lines. like that add gloss whatever gloss you want i used to put on lipstick and all of that and i don't really do that anymore clean girl vibes you know mush your lips together it just like outlines the lips makes them look fuller and less build up i mean i love lip glosses but i don't like lip glosses without an a uh, liner i just feel like there's no shaping to my lips so yeah 
looks good to me. So now that my face is pretty much dried down, I'm gonna use my brow gel. It used to be clear, but now it's like this brown color and I'm going to spoolie and brush through my brows because I got a little translucent powder in them and if I need to add any more pencil then this is when I would do that. And this kind of gives you that lamination look. I need to get my brows laminated again. It's been a couple of months. I just don't want to overdo it because your brows will fall out. And I've experienced some shedding, like maybe a few hairs, but that's enough to scare me to not go back and do it again. So I'm just trying to wait as long as possible. This is my favorite mascara, by the way. I'll link everything, like I said, below. Anyone else always get a leaky nostril when you do your makeup? Girl, I will be this. And voila, my makeup is done. I think it looks good. It'll look better when we get the hair done and we put on a cute fit, you know what I mean? Because I just got these pieces in the mail and I think they'd be super cute for today. I just have to figure out what shoes to wear. So it's like this ribbed gray long sleeve top so cute and maybe do like a monochromatic look with these gray track pants i guess you can call them oh i like the fit of this i think crop tops with like cargo or track pants is super cute are they a little baggy But I don't know that I would want to go true to size. I kind of just folded it over. This is a vibe, you guys. Definitely love the gray on the gray. I just don't know what shoes I would do. I could totally do these, though. Gray on gray on gray vibes. Keep it classic. The Air Force's 350s. That might be a look. I actually really like the Yeezys with this. I'm trying to see if the pants are too short or not. I think they might have to be worn more low rise. Because then the length is perfect. I just don't like my belly hanging out like that. And before I get into my hair, I think I know what fragrance. I think I know what fragrance I'm going for today. Woody Tobacco by Dossier, which you guys, I love this scent. It is super similar to the Replica Jazz Club, if you guys are familiar with that. Dossier makes the best luxury replica fragrances, and the notes of this is phenomenal so 10 out of 10 recommend you guys check out dossier if you're looking to try out different fragrances add new ones to your collection or if you're like a bougie girl but you don't want to spend bougie money dossier and you'll smell like luxury so this one has notes of lemon pink pepper rum oh it's the rum in this one that i like blonde woods tobacco leaves and vanilla it's a very like subtly sweet but smoky scent at the same time and i feel like it also gives that warm cozy sophisticated lady scent it just smells so good and dossier just doesn't miss so i'll be taking this with me in my bag today when i go out and i'll drop a link down below so you guys can shop dossier and use the coupon code and link to save off your purchase they do a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you aren't satisfied with the fragrance that you choose and they do bundle deals on the website as well and their fragrances range from 29 dollars to 49 dollars so you can really just stack up and get a couple of fragrances and see which ones you guys gravitate towards the most so I think it's time to go get into this hair yeah but I'm just gonna take my hair out of that bun that I had it in this morning and kind of just refresh the the curls oh Jesus I knew that was gonna happen I'm sorry guys <laughs> kind of refresh the curls that we have going on Oh my god, what, what is, mm -mm. 
I should have put that um, Amazon heatless curler in my hair and I'm kicking myself for not doing it because it gave me such uniform curls yesterday, but I'm just gonna clean up my edges with some edge control because I have powder in them from my makeup and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And I guess we'll just keep the parting. I might fix it, I don't know yet. We'll see. If I don't like how it looks, then I might have to curl my hair and just come back, show you guys what it, the actual results look like. So I'm gonna use this little brush here. I'm not really trying to do my edges, I just wanna brush them through. And kinda smooth them down a little. Yeah, mm -mm. we need to curl our hair. This is not it. All I know is it needs to be tight. Like that's really how you're going to get the heatless curls. So, like what in the Lord? I don't know who invented this thing, but there has to be an easier way to get this in. Send help. All right, you guys, I'm back. I just had to go eat real quick, let my curls kind of set, and I feel like they should be good to go. So I'm gonna take this down, and I have high hopes that it's gonna look really cute. So, don't wanna rip my hair out. But I wanna show you guys the spray I'm gonna use because that is so good. Um, as just like a daily styler. Oh, that looks so much better. I don't remember what it looked like. Oh yeah, that looks way better than what it was looking like. Without the curler. See, it kind of just pulls right out. Yeah, this thing keeps amazing me. Just gotta make sure you do it smoothly when you wrap it, otherwise it's gonna come out looking crazy. So this is my finishing spray, love this stuff. I'll link it to you guys below. And I find that it helps to add some volume because my hair tends to fall kind of flat. So I'll just kind of lift it up, spray it. It's not like a sticky like hairspray though. It's just like a finishing spray where it adds some shine. It also smells so good and it gives me some like volume, especially with like these heatless curls. I don't have my brush, but go get some of this. And I think I'm just gonna tuck. Do I wanna do that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think we're gonna get rid of this middle part. Give it more of like a tousled. Tussled look. It's cute. Okay. I think that's gonna be it for the hair. Actually, that's it for this whole video. I grabbed a purse. I don't have a gray bag like I wanted for like a monochromatic vibe, but um, I think the bag I grabbed would be pretty, pretty cute. This is the bag I'm going for. This one is just like coach. And hi, hello, we got the full fit. I do think this might look better with Air Force Ones. I don't know. The Yeezys make my feet look small in comparison to the wide leg pant. What do you guys think? I love the gray vibes for sure. I just wish I had a gray bag, but I don't, so 
this little coach bag will have to do and then these sleeves on this top are stunning over the thumb area that is everything that i wanted to show you guys today i'm feeling super cute don't forget to check out dossier though with the links in the description bar along with the codes so you dolls can save and y'all can all be walking around smelling like snack smell like snack thumbs up subscribe and i will see you dolls next time bye